Welcome back, Boss Crafters, to another episode of Boss Craft. In today's episode, we are going to be covering a lot of stuff. We're going to be covering these two boards and what they are about. We're going to be covering that map in the back. We're going to be talking about a lot of stuff on the map. And I'm probably going to be taking you guys to certain locations in the world so you guys get a good idea of what, what I'm talking about. And I have some stuff to work on in Fane, so that's what we're going to be doing in today's episode. So let's head right into it. Alright, so what we have here are two billboards. And these tell us the Empire Flags, the Empire Face, the Empire Capital, the Empire God, and the Empire Leader, or Emperor. So this is going to be... This will be an allied power, and this will be an allied power. Well, besides the ones on the bottom, the ones on the bottom are just like barbarians. So that's a barbarian. We're gonna—they're pillagers, but they're—they're they're gonna be the barbarians of the world. So that's gonna be the the flag. We put shields just because it's cool. But that's going to be the flag of the fire. I think I've shown that before, all the designs of the kingdoms. Obviously with the pyramid. We're underneath the pyramid, by the way, if you didn't notice. At the very bottom. This will be the water kingdom's face. These are the water and, and sky kingdom shields, or, or flags. And then uh, capital cities are already planned out for the four main empires. So Fane, obviously we've already built Fane. Uh, Bl Blazantium, sorry I forget how to say it sometimes. Blazantium is the capital city of the Fire Nation and that's located right there, right across the bay, f or yeah the bay from Fane. I'll also put up a picture of the territories of the empires in the video as well, so you guys can see it. But here is um, the faces for Earth and for the Barbarian. We're going to use the Pillager Head for the Barbarian, the Zombie Villager for the Earth Kingdom, and then a Blaze Head for the Fire Kingdom. I thought that suited each one pretty well. Sky Kingdom, I'm going to use a phantom head for. Obviously an enderman head. We'll build an enderman farm, so we get a lot of enderman heads. And we'll put an enderman head there. So these are the cap capital cities of each empire. And we'll put that, that territory picture up, like right now. And so... This is the water right here. This little continent over here. This continent is the sky. This is the earth in the middle right here. And then fire is in the corner. Bottom left corner. We'll have trading between fire and earth nations. They'll be trading between each other. The water and sky nations will be trading betw between each other. But they won't be trading across the oceans because they'll be obviously against each other. And as of right now in the in the timeline of the world, none of them know about each other as of right now. Uh, I first want to get each capital city built up before we so-called introduce each other, <laughs> introduce them to each other. And then we'll we'll start the diplomats from there. So here we did Aqua City Aquaria. So that city right there, the village, will transform into Aquaria. The city up there, this little, it, I believe it's a sand village, will turn into the Sky City Skrilf. And th these are made up names, by the way, I just made them up. And then we have Fane, obviously, the capital for the Earth Kingdom. And then Blizantium, 
I have it marked out. I have each one marked out and claim, land claimed for where the city will be. There is, the city is originally right here for Byzantium, but that's going to be turned into like the poor section of Byzantium. And then on top of this plateau that's right here, we'll just have a big fortified city. And this outpost, our post, outpost Barbo, Barbus, is the main outpost for the barbarians in the world. They won't necessarily be friendly to the Fire Nation or the Earth Nation, but like this little area is their land. The Fire Nation does not control that. And I think there's another outpost somewhere. I think one of these brown dots is the, the outpost over here. So we'll make that for the Ender, the main Ender Barbarians. And then we'll obviously re redesign those outposts to look different and better, maybe. So yeah, I'm going to fly to the different locations, and I'll show you guys each capital city. And I also have some stuff I want to show off in, in Fane that I did after the recent episode. So, and then maybe do some other stuff on ca on camera, and if there is time, I'll do it on camera. If there's not, I'll just show it in the next episode. But yeah, we'll get headed over to, we'll probably do Blizzantium first, because it's close by. These other two are pretty far away. But yeah, we'll head to Blizzantium first, and I'll show you everybody, you guys, everybody where Byzantium will be and what, what it'll look like, kind of what it'll look like, and we'll talk about what block palette we'll use, stuff like that, and their religion and stuff like that. And then I don't think I need to show off the outpost because you can just Google outpost Minecraft and you'll find an outpost, picture of an outpost, and that's what it looks like. And then we'll head to Aquaria over here. And then we'll head to Skrilf. So, yeah, I'm going to head out. Alright, everybody, we're on top of the pyramid. And I'm going to fly to Blizzantium just to show you guys the general location of it. And you guys get a good idea, a good feel of the world. So right there is my industrial district. If I fly this way a little bit, this we're flying west. There's Fane right there. Don't want to spoil anything. There's stuff on top of the castle I need to show. But we're saving that for a little bit later. But if I fly this way, you guys will see the plateau. And on the back side of the plateau is the original village of Blizzantium. That will be the poor section of Byzantium right here, down below. And then we'll probably have a staircase coming up, leading up to this area. And we'll put walls all the way around the edge of the plateau. And we'll build a fortified city in the middle of this plateau. And I've already marked out that this is a marker on the map. So all I did was I took a banner, renamed it to what I want, which I renamed Fire City Blizzantium. And I put it down right here, and then I took the map for this area and right-clicked on it, and that's how it showed up on the map. And yeah, we'll have a nice big space here to build Blizzantium. And I, I brought some blocks along with to show the block palette we're, we're going to build with. So, if I just place some of these down, so what I'm thinking is I didn't have every block that I wanted with me or available, but we'll talk about them here in a minute. So, these ones we're going to use for the Fire Nation, and basically, I'm going to put 
either this the crack stone or the the regular brick of the black stone as like the foundations of the walls all the way around and then I'm probably going to do this as like the middle section of the walls and then for the top I'm gonna either use the other one of whatever I use for the bottom I'm gonna use for the top of the black stone or I'll use the nether brick and then we're probably gonna use this for the roads and then the soul sand for like around the houses is like the grass but yeah we're gonna totally transform this place this is probably gonna be the build palette and we'll use the different variants like stairs and whatnot but the next one we're gonna head to is Aquaria and it looks like I need more rockets and to sleep so I'm gonna do that quick and I'll head off in that direction which is east to Aquaria just flying over the pyramid and I'm gonna show you guys from the pyramid so you guys get a good feel of the world like I said there's a village that's almost dead I, I have to revive the villager count but if I remember correctly we should be coming up on Aquaria pretty quick here right I believe this one's Aquaria. Let's see, let's check the middle here. Yep, this one's Aquaria. You can tell by the flag. So this is going to be Aquaria, and their block palette is going to be, obviously, if you couldn't tell, it's going to, where should we put this, just so we put it right here in the clearing. Alright, so this will be the block palette for the Water Nation, obviously. And then we'll probably incorporate like light blue terracotta and dark blue terracotta and obviously the stained glasses for each variant of Empire. And yeah, so this is Aquaria and we'll transform each little house and each thing into a different shop, each into a different house, make it all look better, put some walls up, yeah, and transform each village. And then we'll head to the Sky Village. We'll show you guys that right here on camera because that's quite a quite a distance and I want you guys to get a good feel, a good feel of the world. So there's another city of the Water Nation. There's the outpost of the Ender, I guess I showed that. There's another Water Nation. We'll transform it. It won't look so Fire Nation looking. <laughs> and then this, this right here territory, all the ice and stuff. This is Sky Kingdom territory we're flying through. I think I have to be a little more this way. A little more this way, I think. And then we'll head north. We're heading north, by the way. We should see a village here. On the edge of this dark oak. On this side. Yes, right here. So this is Skrilf. It's kind of small. But it's it's pretty good. Pretty good village. And still got pretty good amount of villagers. And yeah, a lot of wheat. I'm not exactly sure which each capital will be producing the most of. I know Fane is going to be the food production. But, I mean, each empire will product, produce everything, but each one will have a certain thing they produce the most of. And the block palette for the Sky Kingdom will be... White terracotta and bone blocks. I figured those two would be a good combination. 
and then sand all the variants of sandstone we could use and white white glazed terracotta this might be yellow actually is this no that's white so yeah we'll incorporate white and I think I want to use uh, I put that the wrong way I know probably gonna kill some OCD so I'll fix it but yeah so we'll probably incorporate some yellow too because of the lightning bolt in the in the design of the sky kingdom but get some food out here but yeah this is gonna be Skrilf it's gonna be the capital of the sky kingdom and I don't know what it is about this area but it just feels like you're you know like you're up on the top of the world I don't know it that's just how it feels did I leave no nope, I got my backpack all right so I'm gonna head back home there's a few things I gotta pick up to work on Fane but we're gonna do some things in Fane I got quite a few things to show off in Fane I don't need this cactus I got a cactus farm I didn't show that off either but I built a cactus farm in in the industrial district just so you guys know uh, but yeah, I'm going to head to the base real quick, pick up some stuff, and I'll probably meet you guys in Fane. A castle here in Fane. And we did quite a few, uh, quite a bit of work here at the castle. I just want to show it off quick. So, I said in the last episode we were going to enclose this area off. I didn't do that yet. I don't know if I'm going to, actually. I might just finish doing the sides and then just leave it open I don't know we'll figure that out eventually but if we come down here so we've got two directions here this leads to the mines you guys have seen those already and if we come down here down here is like where the guards I haven't quite finished it we still have to put walls up over here and then probably put like uh, seats over here chairs or something for the prisoners to like they're waiting around to be booked and this is the booking center for the prisoners when they go to battle and they and they capture prisoners they can they can come book them in here and that's where they keep all their records with the books and papers and then we come down in here and these are all the cells some of them I think actually all of them have windows and I'm not gonna go in there because there's no button I'd have to break down the door and I don't want to do that but so we have total we have a total of 30 cells there's that first level and there's this level and then there's some on this side up here these ones don't have windows actually so those are more like solitary confinement cells and then we have regular jail cells over here with with bars on the windows and we do that because back in the old days this would be like a very cold area and you don't want your prisoners comfortable so instead of putting glass to hold the heat in we put metal bars so that way prisoners are not comfortable in the unless you got you know like a high value prisoner like a king or something then you'd want to put them in one of these cells so that way they're nice and wa they're warmer than these guys anyway and then we got a third level up here this is right underneath the throne room and yeah we got a total of 30 cells I think I said that already but it's good to re-illustrate and then I was gonna put another level but I said you know what three levels is good that's plenty for now if I wanted to I could come back and build more but I thought it was good for now so yeah we find we got at least a functional prison in the castle and then if we come this way, 
this is the this is a good part about Fane's castle. So we have the mines down here. We have the smelter over there, just just up there past the iron. And if you come this way, it's a little secret doorway over here with this button. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. You gotta move fast. You got to. I didn't move fast enough. It's a good thing. Alright. There we go. And then it shuts behind you. And then this opens it. Pretty, pretty standard hidden doorway. These are pretty common. They've been in the game for quite some time now. But yeah, if we head down this hallway, this hallway is Fane's Riches Room. So we got, I believe it's a total of 13 diamond blocks in here. And I believe it's a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah, I believe 5 gold blocks and a bunch of iron. I couldn't even tell you how much iron I put in here. And then we just put some ores to make it look nice. I do want to put some other things in here, such as um, gold armor stands or something like or diamond armor stands. Just so, like, there's more, looks more like riches, you know, like a treasure room. So that's a pretty nice addition to Fane's Castle. I'm pretty excited about that. I hope you guys are too. If we walk back out here. So there is one more thing here in Fane I needed to show that I needed to finish. Which is the Manor House. This guy is totally furnished. So we have a little shelf over here, a little countertop. We got a chest for dry goods. Or no, that's just a regular chest. They'd probably use that for like, I don't know, dish towels or, or maybe even dishes. And then this is their pantry. So you can open up three doors. And then you got a single chest back there. <clears throat> Close all these back up. Got a chest there, a sink, so you can wash your hands. Little faucet, and then a coffee pot. It's actually a brewing stand, but we're gonna call it a coffee pot. And then you got your ovens. Oh, there's one thing I wanted to put on top of here that I forgot, just to uh, make it look a little more realistic. Let's see. Which one? Is this one. This one. When I got one left. So this is going to make it look like... Like a burner. Yeah. So it's like a stove top. We got a couple of ovens. We can do stuff. And a little island. With what I consider to be like a cutting board island. So if you would think of like... In a kitchen, you got an island, and then there's a cutting board top on it. I don't know if you guys ever have seen one. I'm sure you have seen one of those, but yeah, that's what I thought of when I made that. And then, so what I wanted to work on... Oh wait, we have to go show the bedrooms off. I still have a, a few more things to do in the bedroom. We might as well sleep too. Oh, and bathroom. We got a toilet. Two. Oop. I didn't want to do that. Where'd it go? In the hopper. You went in the hopper. You went in the toilet. So you press the button and flush the toilet. It doesn't actually work, but. Then you got a sink and a bathtub. Uh, we should sleep because it's dark. I don't want any more villagers to die. Kind of lost a few villagers just working here and not paying attention to the dark before I put the bell in. And then we put a little clay pot with a dark oak sapling there. We got flower pots over there. Pictures. Something to look at. And we walk up the stairs. Oh, yep. There's a skelly right there. 
got a little area here. I was going to put some seating area in here, but I didn't get to it yet. And then we got more paintings up here. I thought these two fit pretty nice for a hallway. And like I said, this isn't totally done. I shouldn't have said that it was in the, when we first walked in. But yeah, it's it's close, but yeah, we've made progress. I do want to do a few more little things like get um, some rugs, like carpets in here as rugs. I couldn't think of the word. Yeah, we got another bedroom over here. Another bedroom. Another bedroom. And each one has an armor stand, so that way, you know, you can hang up their clothes or whatever. I was going to do one for each bed, but I felt like it got to be too many armor stands, and that'd be a lot of entities, because armor stands are considered an entity, and there'd be a lot of entities in the area. So yeah, um, I'm still going to build in an apartment building right here. But probably not in today's episode. We probably don't have time for that. But I do want to get some uh, some more farming going on because we have one, two, and those don't even really. That's just for me to trade with the villagers. So those don't really count, and they keep stepping on them. They keep ruining my melons and pumpkins. Anyway. So we got one, two, I think there's one over here, and then we have one way over there. Actually, I think we have two, two of them way over there, so that'd be five. Yeah, there's two, yeah, there's one in the back. So two, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I believe that's it. So really, if they're going to be like the producers, the main producers of food for the Earth Empire, well, and the Fire Empire, because they'll be trading with each other, but if they're going to be the main provider of food for the Earth Empire, we need to, we need to do that. <laughs> they need to produce that. So... Just to start off with, we're not going to do a whole big produ- I, I do have plans to make a big production farm for wheat, potatoes, and carrots, and bee roots. But, just to start off with, we're going to, instead of making this part of stables, or housing, or anything like that, or a shop, where we go to and get what we need, we're going to turn this into a big long stretch of farmland. All the way probably up to the tree and I'm gonna fill in this land right here and then back here behind the nether portal we're gonna put the royal stables right in here we're gonna take out these trees take out this junk and then we're gonna put the royal stables over here and fill in that hole I still haven't done that yet but yes so we're gonna hop right into it here Let's put this down, and I'm just going to use dark oak because dark oak is my favorite type of log. Oh, we need to fill in that hole first, but dark oak is my favorite type of log, so I'm going to use that. Alright, so we're just going to make it look like, and I want I want it to be just like the regular spawned in, spawned in farmlands that spawn in. So we can actually go right up to the wall. Because that'd be farmland, farmland, or this would be the wall, the outside wall right here. Because I want to put it right up next to the road. But, so this would be farmland, farmland, water farmland, farmland, wall. Well, not wall, but yeah, you guys get the idea. And then actually, we could extend it, and then we could make this actually farmland instead of wood. 
because the water or we could just have the water like come this way too a couple blocks in anyway we'll we'll just go right up to the wall and then probably do the actually you know what let's just I was gonna cut it off there but we'll just do that and then I'm gonna leave a gap in between the, the archery range oops so mainly I wanted it to be like that over there but yeah I just figured we might as well use that space as well so I'm gonna fill this get this and then I'm gonna put dirt right here all the way down just do this much faster So now when we get to something like this, oops. So now when we get to something like this, I'm gonna do it like that. Just have one block like that. And then we'll have to go like this. Because we want the water to stay relatively in the middle of this farmland. So if it's going to extend out that way, we need to extend the water and this side out that way too. If you guys catch my drift. So this is going to kind of be tricky. We'll do that. And we'll start that there. And we'll just do this side quick. So it'll look like that. And then we gotta do it like this. Because we want a consistent water stream through here. So we'd end up like that. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So actually, we might do this and have. So that way it's all fertilized. This is four blocks, but this should all be fertilized if we have water right here. So that should work out. Let's get that water in right away. Oops. And we need that to form an infinite water source. So then now we have infinite water and we're just going to make this all water right down, right down to the end. And then I'll get back to you guys, oops, I'll get back to you guys when we're ready to plant it. Alright, so we're ready to plant it here. I need to get my, my hole out. Let's get this out of the way. So we're going to start, pre oops, we're probably going to start with potato and carrots because they just seem to have a whole lot of wheat and beetroots and they don't need it all. It's getting dark. We should sweep. Sweep quick and then we'll plant. And we probably want to put some lights around, so like lanterns, so let's get some get some lanterns. I think I put them in here. Yes, I did. So we're going to put, let's do four blocks in between. Right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. It's not going to add up, but that's fine. 
two, three, four, two, three, four, four, three, four. I didn't grab the other stack, did I? Nope. Oops, wrong one. Okay. Uh, we should continue on this side just so it lines up. So there's four right there, right there, right there, right there, and three. That's fine. So that should be well lit enough. And now we're just going to go through, get this all hold up real quick. Help if we get on the land, that help and stay on it. So this should help out a little bit with food, but we got we, we should plant a whole lot more crops for them. So that way there's plenty of crops coming from this. And then we'll also put up an automatic villager crop farm eventually. When I get around to it. Lots of plans for farms in the world. So, we'll just start with potatoes. Potatoes is good. And we should put some composters around here so that way they have comp composters. Composters or com composter? Composters or compost? Am I even saying it this different? I feel like I am, but I'm not. It's alright. Okay, so carrots. And they're just gonna mix them up anyway, so it's... It's okay. Oops. And we're probably gonna put a whole lot more crops on the outside of the walls, too. Because Fane owns quite a bit of land around the area. I'll fly around and show you guys in a minute. Here we go. We had two carrots left over. That's okay. So that should be a pretty good addition of food for a little bit here. Let's just go fly quick. So Fane is gonna is gonna own this island. We, we may build stuff on this island, we may not. Um, we're going to build stuff, more stuff, more docks, probably a lighthouse over here, I don't know. Or maybe over here on the island. Because we want it to be f close to the sea, close to over here. But this is all Fane's land. We're going to cut it off, probably right here. So they'll just own this little bit of land. And then on this side over here, we're going to make farmland. Well, a bunch of it. We may not make all of this farmland. I've already got a little canal going right there. So we got, we're going to build out platforms and make canals and stuff and, and farmlands out on this peninsula. And then we're going to use a lot of this area, maybe not all of it, but a lot, of, a lot of this area for farmland as well. Because, yeah, Fane will own all this. Fane will own all the way up to probably right up in here. Let's get higher so we can see better. Yeah, they'll pro we'll probably cut it off right here. And they'll just own this little chunk right here of land. And yeah, that'll be the capital city of the Earth Kingdom. I gotta eat some food. But yeah, that's about it for today, guys. I, uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you guys really are enjoying the storyline and the lore. I'll probably, guys, probably catch you guys in the next episode. And we'll be working on Blizzantium, Fire Kingdom, Fire Kingdom Capital. There's an Iron Golem outside the wall. It's probably a good thing. He's probably the most most defensive Iron Golem we have because he's 
first line of defense right there. Yeah, and we got a villager out there. Can you see him? He's way out there. But yeah, we'll see you guys in the next episode, and we're going to be working on Byzantium in the direction right behind me. It'll be across the bay behind me. We'll probably be able to see it if we're standing on the castle. But yeah, you guys have a good day, and enjoy the rest of your week, and I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and adios amigos.